last one in the series. And then I'm not going to talk about dating until something either, hopefully not, hilariously goes wrong. And I'm like, ooh, my hair thing came out. I tried to make it a hair tie, but it's really a headband. Didn't work. I'm working with no water. No water right now. I washed my hair with bottled water this morning. I camping. <laughs> It'll all be fixed by the end of today, hopefully. I'm just getting some air and letting them cut through my wall. So I'm jabbering on about stuff because I have some time. <laughs> um, but anyway, who am I now? And this whole dating world, what? Like, look, I will 100% admit to everybody's face, I am not majority's cup of tea. Okay? I'm not for everybody. I'm not understood. I'm not gonna make sense. I am outside the fucking box so much so that most of the time I intimidate men without even trying. I don't know if it's my energy. I don't know if it's my confidence, my attitude, my badass. I will do it for my fucking self first before I ask you, Ness. I don't know what it is, but they run. They catch feelings and they run. Or they get told right away because I can see through the bull crap when somebody's just after me for sex like why can't people just be real so when I'm sitting on a date and you're looking me in the face and you're telling me that you basically are playing me I'm also an empath and a psychic medium and I take zero shit but I'm not an asshole I understand majority of the time people just are not woke they're not woke up to the realism of awake they're not woke up why can't why am i talking funny lately anyway they're not awake they don't know their own toxicity and they're still in their karmic energy they have issues that they don't want to face um they bury it in alcohol sex meeting other people going on dates filling up their time so they don't have to be alone i get it you don't understand your toxicity when you're in it and I'm okay with people with hang-ups. I, I don't, I'm not out here expecting anybody to be fucking perfect because I'm the last one that will ever say that I'm perfect. My whole slogan is, I'm not perfect, but who is? That's like my man, mantra for my whole life. I've always been the weird one. I, it's hard for people to understand. I'm always going to go left when other people go right. And I'm okay standing left all by myself, even if my significant other went right. And I don't think men can handle that. <laughs> At least not in my opinion. I can also fight for my fucking self. I don't run to my man and say, so-and-so, it's giving me a fucking hard time. Why don't you go do something about it? I'm not that bitch. I handle it and I say nothing. And then they find out about it and they were like, what if they hurt you? And I'm like, if I thought for a second they were going to hurt me, I wouldn't have done it by myself. Nobody gives me any credit. <laughs> I do think about things before I act, but I'm just that bitch. Like, if there's something broke in the house, I'm going to go fix it, and then I'm not going to call you and be at work and be like, Oh, the faucet's broke. Handle it when you get out of work. You're going to come home and see me fixing it, and I'll be like, Oh, yeah, the faucet broke. Sorry, I'm fixing it. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm YouTubing it or I have the repairman, but it's handled cool. They, I, I, I like that they want to take care of me. I have a hard time being taken care of. I don't know how to do this. I've never had this. And <laughs> I'm, I don't know if I'm just rejecting because I feel like it's fake. Can I just be real? When they say they want to take care of me and all this shit, I've heard all of this shit. I've heard all of the shit in the beginning of all the shitty relationships I ever had. Flowery words, flowery words, soft, sweet nothings, and I hear none of it. I hear chirp, 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 chirp. actions. I don't, I mean, yes, let's not be totally, let's be real. Like if, I can tell when someone really says they love me and mean it. I don't chirpy chirp there. <laughs> but when I think you're bullshitting me, I will tune you out. And I'm just, whatever we're doing on the day, I'm like stabbing my food and I 
another one just wants to have a JJ. I'm not playing this game. I'm not going to sit here and smile pretty. But like, well, you do know that I'm celibate. I'm not saying I'm never going to have sex, but we're not having sex tonight. And I shit you fucking not. They pulled the I'm going to the bathroom and not coming back. You think I'm going to cry about it? No. I finished my fucking meal and paid the, for their meal because they're dicks. And I don't screw servers over. And I went home with a smile on my face. I don't need the bullshit. I could have done without paying for your meal, though. Thanks. <sighs> I'm here by myself. You're going to take care of me, motherfucker. I just paid for your dinner. Actions! <sighs> See? I hear nothing from men because of the area <laughs> I'm in majority. And I'm not going to lie. Just like men are intimidated by my confidence. If you got your shit together... And you're straight out 100% truthful. And you look me in the face. And you say, I fucking want you. I'm going to poop a little. That's scary. I want to know it, but at the same time, oh my god. I need to hide. I need to hide. Too seen. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm waiting for that moment. But I've seen it happen. Like, well, no, it's happened. Because that's why I get into relationships. Even when they were bad. Like in the beginning. You're like, oh, shit. They let them in. Fuckers. <laughs> I think I'm just very protective of who I let in. It's my point. But I don't get it. Like, can't you just appreciate a lady that sometimes... I will not come to you until I can't fucking take it anymore. I'm going to come to you with my problems. I'm be like, I had a hard day. Do you want to talk about it? That's not me. This is me. Three months later. I've had a hard three months. Can we talk about it? <laughs> Even if I'm in majority, it's not about them. It's just like, can I just vent to you for a second? Because you have ears and you're in this room. Otherwise, I'd be talking to myself, processing it by myself. I do everything by myself. I even have babies by myself. Why is everybody so mean to me about being so fiercely independent? I don't know anything else. Try to take care of me. See what happens. I am a rebel. I don't know what to do. I'm like, why are you doing this? What do you really want? Are you trying to put me in your freezer? Huh? Huh? Trying to make me need you, aren't you? I don't want to need you because then you're going to, you know, I'm still fighting it, guys. I'm not perfect, but I guess I want to be intimidated more instead of other people running from me. Like, why am I so scary? I sound like a mouse. Why are you running? I can't even say anything yet. I've had, I've shown up on dates and they looked at me and walked the other way. It's like, am I that hideous? What the fuck? What? What just happened? Can you explain it to us? I mean, I don't take it personally, but I am a Virgo, and I need answers. If you don't tell me, I'm just going to sit here and think about it for three years. Why did that guy walk out and not say anything? Do I have something on my face? What? <laughs> you know? What is it about me that's so intimidating? Why can't men accept independent, fierce ladies and not just say they want that? But why can't I like fierce men and actually stand on it and not run from no was. I get it, man, because I'm the same way back. I just haven't been in enough situations with fierce men. I mean, I thought the doctor was fierce, but then he ended up being Dr. Creepy, and I was really scared. I can't, I can't even trust the doctor. This is hard. <laughs> Musician guy dated a guy who wrote a song for me after three days. I thought that was very sweet, but at the same time, I was like, this is bad. And he swifted me, Tyler Swift. He wrote a song, and then the next day he had another date. I didn't even do anything to him. He invented a whole scenario. I'm like, we didn't even sleep together. I don't know why you're so fucking upset. Anyway, why don't you write a song about how quick you get attached? How about that, Clinger? I can't say that stuff. I gotta keep it in there. <laughs> but I never had anyone write me a song before. That was cool. I'm learning. Too fierce for this world. I don't even know where I fit. Have I ever? I'll let you know when I figure it out.